Now, besides having this, once you get this option, which is um, it's available on the Optin Monster website. So if we go to the link, oh, and l let's see uh, what else they have available. Really quick, if we go to the back end and we go to Optin Monster, what we have is not only do we have the exit intent. Let's go to the dashboard over here. Dashboard of real free website. So we have Optin Monster. We have to stay here and make sure I save this. I was writing a blog post, so that should be okay. So, so let's go to Optin Monster and see what else we have available because it's not just the exit intent that's important, it is also all the other options they have. So, I can create a new opt in, and they have available a light box, a slide in. There are also a few other ones, and the way that you install it is very simple. You basically go to add a new plugin. You download, you you know, when you go to get Optin Monster, you download them to your computer. And we're gonna go find it really quick under Dropbox. Oh, we were right there. Optin Monster. So see, right here they have Optin Monster on the post, Optin Monster in the sidebar, on the footer, on the slide. The slide is pretty cool because what that what happens at that point. We'll install it right now and create one super easy and super quick right now. In fact, I'll show you. This will just, oh, it says it already installed. So I already have it installed. So anyway, you would install it this way and it'll be available. So what I have to do right now is just make sure it's active. So I'm gonna go do that right now. And I just have to find it on my on my list of plugins here, Optin Monster, there we go. So there's a new version available and here's the footer bar. So we're going to activate that and the slide in is already active. So we are going to just activate the footer bar and then we'll create a, let's see, which one are we missing? WordPress plugins and then we have here, let's see, Optin Monster footer do we have the footer? Let's go look. So, footer. Optin Monster footer, we have it here. Then we have exit, we have exit of course. Sidebar, we don't have the sidebar. Optin Monster and no sidebar. So we're gonna install the sidebar one. So again, we go to add new, we upload it. So we're gonna select the upload button and we're going to choose the file. We should be in the same one. So we're going to say sidebar, open, and install now. What else do we have? Sidebar. So I think that's it. So we're going to activate it. Now what we have is, let's go see, click on Optin Monster. And if we were to create a new one, there we see, now we have the light box option, the footer bar, the sidebar, and the slide in. Let's create a slide in really quick. So we're gonna select sliding, create next step. And we're going to call it opt-in sidebar slide in. We want it to wait until people have been on this page for nine seconds and you have to put it in milliseconds. So if you want a nine seconds, you need to add three zeros to that. If you want 15 seconds, add three zeros to that. So then I want to show this to people every single day. Well, let's make it every three days. So if they close it, it's going to go away every three days and come back. Or maybe we'll just leave it at default of seven. Once they've once they've uh, opted in, what page do you want to send them to? Well, ideally you want to create a thank you page. And I'm going to check to see if I've already created one. There you go. So I already have a thank you page. So we're going to save that. And that's where I want them to go after they opt in. Then this option here that says load on second page view means don't show this the first time they visit the website, but show it when they click on a second page. 
That way you don't show them this right away, but you show it to them after the fact that they visit a second page and it's been over nine seconds and they haven't closed it in the past seven days. So that's so far our settings. So we're gonna check that so it doesn't show on the second um, until they click on a second page. Exit intent is just like this light the light box I've I've just shown you, but it's for the side slide in that we're creating instead of the light box. The email provider settings are very easy to configure. In this case, we're using Aweber. And the connection should be ready. I'm just going to use one that's existing. Hopefully, I won't need to do any more customization. But if you have to connect Aweber to your opt-in monster setting here, it is very simple. It walks you right through it. Just follow the steps. We'll see what happens right now. It should just work. Meantime, let's close this window. You know what I just realized is that there's quite a few updates to be done on the site. So I'm going to do those first. Maybe there's an update for Optin Monster, which is required for me to move forward right now. So I'm just going to update all the plugins I have here very quickly. So if you're having any issues with any plugin, really, make sure that you check to see that they're up to date, as I'm doing right now. Some of these may not update because if they're private, Okay, so actually they did. So that's one another great thing from Optin Monster. Even though the plugin is a privately sold plugin, you can update it through the normal dashboard, which is great. Um, so now let's go back to this and see if we we can save it. If we're gonna make it crash or something, let's go back to Optin Monster and start over because of the update. I want to make sure we have the latest. So we're going to create a new opt-in again. We're going to pick the slide in. We're going to call it new slide in. Nine seconds. Let's make the cookie duration default. The thank you page, we already have it. We're going to show it on the second page. As I've already explained, we want Aweber. Let's hopefully this works, perfect. So we have, there you go. So I already have a list set up called main site sub for main site subscriptions. So I'm gonna select that. Then I can pick which list I want to use. So I have one right here called real free website. So I will do that because it is for the website that I'm on right now and then save and design opt-in. Once I do that, I get to pick some of the colors and the text to be to be used on the opt-in. So here it is. You click on that, then click on open design, and you can now change the color, uh, change different things. So for example, where is it? So see, it's, this is what it looks like down here. So the background color can be changed to you know, in my case, it should be something like orange because my site is mostly orange. So let's make it stand out. So make it a darker orange like this. Then the content of the background color. This right now is all black. So we're going to make it maybe stand out as white. How about that? Maybe a little bit like this. We're just going to test it out. Title and tagline. So this is what you're going to say, for example, like what you see, subscribe. So let's see what happens here. Subscribe, opt-in title, close. Okay, so what happens if we do this? Nope. Like what you see, please subscribe. I'm not sure what that was gonna show. So let's figure it out here. There we go. So it's 14 hours. So come up with something that you want to say there. 
and you can test that later too you can make the let's first change the background I didn't like that background so background colors let's make it darker something like that okay title and tagline so let's see it like what you see let's make it bold let's make it centered and can we make it bigger I'm not sure but definitely let's see here yeah that's that okay okay here we go this is where we can change the fonts so we can say let's make it 48 how big is that let's save it and see what options we have so far or how it looks whoa 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 that's way too big so anyway we can maybe say 26 let's save it so see now that's a little more manageable like what you see subscribe to have it delivered to your inbox next time next time okay and then this one we can say you know we want 14 let's save it and see how it looks okay it's not seem to be affecting it I bet you something cache with my browser. So fields and buttons. Let's see. Okay. So you can make whatever call to action. You can make it say whatever you want there. I'm going to make it bold and white. And since it's white and red, I could change this to orange. Make it a little bright. Let's see. Well, that's kind of the same. So maybe. How about that? And make it bold and center. Okay, and this is going to be, let's make it 18. Let's see how that looks. Save. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, now the one thing that's different from what you see right now is that I want to show the name. So in here I want to say your best email address. And I want to show first name as well. So how do I do that? I need to go and find out where I can add first name. So maybe it was in the previous options. So let's close this. We're done with the design. Let's go back to configuration and see if we can change that option there. So I don't think there's an option here for that. the design should be done let's take a look like what you see subscribe to have it delivered to your inbox next time your best email address see but I want to show name and email not just email so oh, submit field I'll have to figure out that out as I go okay and close this so let's see what happens under on the next step this is where you decide when you're going to show whether the page shows whether this shows up on every page or only some pages so first you need to enable it this will make it that it starts working on the site 
then you want to make sure that is if you want it to show up everywhere based on the other rules that I showed you earlier then you're going to click on load opt-in globally so we're going to do that then if you wanted to override that and say I only want to show this one opt-in on certain pages that would be ideal if you want to have an opt-in that only subscribes people to a special training course for example or a special email list so you could create various opt-in options in different sections of your site and have people join just that uh, by by excluding excluding it here if you want to only show it in a category you also have that option and also the type of post that you have so for example if you wanted to show the opt-in only on posts that promote a certain type of structure like the the post would be just a normal blog post or in this case I have frequently asked questions so if I wanted to add an opt-in that invites them to subscribe only when I have new frequently asked questions, I may create an opt-in and check this option to only show it when there are frequently asked questions section. Um, and so I'm just, for the time being, I want it to show up everywhere, globally, and there's no exclusive option. Basically show up everywhere based on the other rules. So I'm going to save that now. And we're gonna try opening up again a new incognito window so the website doesn't realize it's us again and on real free website after nine seconds and clicking on two pages first this is very aggressive you see how that popped up so I can of course adjust that but I like it the way it is it's working really great for me so I'm gonna close that then I'm going to click on another window and on this slide in as I scroll down we're going to see it pop in one of the sides. Do you see that? Popped out a little bit so if we click on it we see this right there and I can say yes please add example.com sign me up and I should go to the thank you page sending them more information. Okay, so I guess example is not really allowed. So I would pick, put, you know, whatever my my email address. So that's it, and then I should be taken to this, which then I can come back to the blog and continue reading whatever I was uh, looking at. So I'll read the blog. So that is what the another option that Optin Monster gives you. And if we go back to it, that pretty much shows you the capabilities. My favorite, of course, is the exit intent. When you're about to leave the site and you're in a new window. Again, I'll show it to you one more time. Is the pop-up box when somebody tries to leave your website. That is the best thing that you can use because you're not being too intrusive, you're not bothering people, but you're trying to get their last second of attention before they leave because maybe they will come back, maybe they won't. Maybe they'll be busy with something else. But watch as I move my cursor away from the box. This is the best part, how a new box is going to pop up and try to grab my attention one more time. There it is. Took a second, but that's it. So. That box that just popped up and made the whole background dark, that's what we call the exit intent. That's what I've just demonstrated. If you're just watching this video from now, the, pa the last few moments explain the ultimate goal is to get this or the sign up on the sidebar here. As I scroll down, you'll see a, a, something pop up on the side here. You'll see it after I click on some places. Maybe I already closed it and it's still in the memory of the browser, but essentially you'll see a pop-up. Oh, we're on the wrong website. We did that on this one. So I show you the box that pops in, in the middle, that's the exit intent. And then you have now, for example, this. We should get a box that pops up right here on, this, on the right-hand side. As we scroll, or we read a couple more blog posts. Let's see. 
free websites. There, you see this that just came up right here? We scroll down. There it is, right here. So this allows people to sign up automatically. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you, you like uh, the video I made. If you are interested in getting Optin Monster, check out the link right below. Great, great, great product. I totally recommend it. As you can see, I use it on various sites. So, thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.